What's up YouTube, how you doing? This is Mr. Tybox123 and in this video I'm going to be running through with you my top three gadgets so far in 2012. So as you guys know, we have been absolutely spoiled for choice in terms of gadgets that have come out this year in 2012. Had a whole bunch of gadgets come out that are absolutely fantastic and we all love our tech and our gadgets. Now what I wanted to do with you today is just run through my top three so far this year. Now obviously there's going to be a lot more coming out and maybe I'll do another one towards the end of the year. But at this point in time, this is summer 2012, I'm gonna talk you through what are my favorite three that have come out so far. Now, before we do, let's just run through some of the amazing tech and gadgets that we've had so far this year. We've had the new iPad 3 with that beautiful retina display. We've also had likes of the HTC One X, which really was the first of its kind in terms of those really powerful quad-core processor phones with those big screens, beautiful designs, and also obviously the ice cream sandwich firmware or software or operating system, whatever you want to call it. We've had a whole bunch of tablets as well and a whole bunch of phones. We've had some really nice Windows phones as well. And obviously we're going to be getting some much nicer ones coming out in terms of the Windows 8 phones later in the year. And obviously the Windows 8 tablets as well as they come out later in the year. The, Tur the Surface tablet from Microsoft, that's going to be an absolutely amazing one to try and test out. And I'm really looking forward to that. But as it stands now, my top three items in terms of gadgets from 2012. We'll start right from the top. So we'll start off with number three. My third favorite gadget of 2012 is this. It is the Samsung Galaxy S3. Now Samsung really did pull it out of the hat with the S3. It's a beautiful phone. It's got good build quality, not quite the best up in terms of Apple and HTC, but still much, much better than they had last year with the Galaxy S2. It's beautiful and thin. It's got that huge screen on the front. It's got a fantastic operating system in terms of ice cream sandwich. And we're also going to get that bump to jelly bean hopefully later in the month. I found the battery life on the S3 to be absolutely fantastic. And it's just a really great phone to use in general. And I think Samsung have done an absolutely fantastic job with this. It kind of pipped the post over the HTC One X because of the fact it's got that micro SD slot in it. That really makes a huge difference. You can put some huge SD cards in here and this can be an absolutely tremendous multimedia portable device for you. You can put a whole bunch of movies and audio and a ridiculous amount of stuff on that. And with that beautiful screen as well, I think this really has been the smartphone so far of 2012 with the HTC One X coming in just slightly behind it. Now, in second place, obviously, the Retina MacBook Pro. Now, this device to me is just absolutely fantastic. It's by far and away the best Apple device I've ever owned. The fact that it's so thin, the fact that it's got a ridiculous set of performance specs, it's got that quad-core processor, that brand new Ivy Bridge quad-core processor, 16 gig of RAM, SSD, and to top it off, as you guys know, I love my screens. I love my screen real estate. The retina display on this laptop really is absolutely phenomenal. It's something you have to see in real life to really kind of appreciate just how beautiful the retina display is on this 15 inch retina MacBook Pro. Everything about it, I absolutely adore. It's much lighter than the original MacBook Pro. It's much thinner. And like I say, I just absolutely love that retina display, it just makes working on it a complete pleasure and a joy. And like I say, you have to see that in real life. If you, if you use it and then you go back to a normal one, like I go back to my MacBook Air afterwards, the screen just kind of looks like it's something from the 1980s once you've compared it to this retina screen. It really is a huge difference. I know a lot of you say, oh, but it's ridiculously expensive and you know it can't be that different. You've got to check it out in real life and you've got to put it side by side with a normal screens device. But for me, number two, absolutely love the Retina MacBook Pro from Apple. I know it's expensive, but you do pay for quality. So at number three, we had the Samsung Galaxy S3. Then we had the Apple Retina MacBook Pro. 
And I think maybe some of you guys will know because of a video I did just recently on this product, but what has to come in at number one, the top gadget of this so far in this term, in this, in, in 2012, my apologies, has to be the Nexus. This thing, as I did a whole video about the other day, and I'll put a link down in that below, evangelizing this product, it's just the it's just such a great product and for the price 159 pounds or 199 dollars this is just immense i mean i talked about it for, for quite a while in that video the other day and like i say i'll leave a link down below so you can check that out so i don't want to talk about it too much because we'll be covering ground we did just a couple of days ago but i've got to say if you've got a little bit of money lying around and you want to treat yourself to some fantastic tech it's got to be the nexus now obviously the galaxy s3 is a fair kind of investment you know it's a it's a reasonable investment to make sort of five six hundred pounds obviously the retina mac pro right up there you know eighteen hundred pounds 159 pounds this thing is by far and away the best piece of tech that you will buy up to this point in 2012 now we've obviously got a whole range of stuff that we're going to be treated to over the next few months coming towards the end of the year but like i say right at this point now it's all about the nexus 7. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what your opinion is in the top three items of tech in 2012 and I will see you all in the next video. See ya.